This is a short video on avocado irrigation, or, or in, irrigation anywhere actually. Uh, you'll notice here, you know, I just connected to my hose bib here, and I have pressure regulators. That's real important because, you know, I might have, you know, 80 or 90 pounds of pressure, which would be too much for these plastic components and for the drip hoses and fittings and, and so on. And I found, you know, I've tried many different clocks and irrigation uh, systems over the years. And for my small operation here, these, these I think they cost about 50, 60 bucks. And uh, they're excellent uh, battery operated. You don't need to hook up to your AC. And, uh, and the batteries seem to last quite a, quite a while. And uh, they, you set the, it's set on automatic here, and you can turn it off here. And how often, in this particular one, it's every seven days, so not very often. And how long, it's only eight minutes you know, a week. So I don't really need much water for the ornamentals. And start time, you can adjust that. I have it set for 6.35 in the evening. And there's where you set the clock time. And now it's back to automatic. And the second one, the newer one down here, is for the uh, avocado tree. And that's the more important one. And I currently have it set, I think, every other day for about 12 minutes. And I'll turn it on in a, in a minute and show you how that works. But uh, anyway, uh, in fact, I might as well do it now. The way it works here is it, there's a button that says manual. And when you press that, it'll start takes a couple seconds supposedly there it goes anyway and it'll it'll run until I shut it off but now I'll show you this you know I just had some old hose this isn't at all a professional setup but I had some old I think it's 5 8 inch garden hose and it was about a hundred feet long which is kind of an impractical hose actually but anyway, let's follow it. And here's a repair. You know, I, I had to cut it at one time. And all I did is, you know, I just uh, used an awl or punch and make a small hole. And I put these sprayers. Just, uh, you know, there's so many different varieties of, you know, you can uh, check the reviews online, you know, how they work and so on. But you see the fine spray. And the other thing about irrigating most any tree or plant is the leaves are the drip line. Hello, you know, the rain comes down. And so the feeder roots are, that are basically around this area here and well, let's look at my neighbor's trees uh, over there. Well, anyway, so you want to put your water down where the rain would naturally fall. And so that's what I've done. And we'll go over here. Really long hose. And you can see it at this end of the tree or at this side of the tree. You know, again, you want your water to fall or land about where the leaves are on the tree. I'm not used to this camera so I, anyway okay now we'll come over here and, and what I did to do the other side well it's kind of overgrown now but you can well you probably can't see on this end but there's a fine spray and what and the ground is getting damp out there and again, it's at approximately at the drip line or maybe a little bit beyond, you know, so the tree can, can grow. And then I did the same thing over there. Probably won't be able to see the spray, but, the, but it's getting damp. And then the other thing that's good is 
see all these dead leaves you know actually it's it's a mulch you know you really want to just leave them there because they keep the soil from drying out and uh that's why i have all just leave the leaves you know they decompose and and they provide you know fertilizer and, and ground cover and uh so there's there's nothing wrong with that 